It's amazing to be on this platform. And the theme which has been chosen is testing waters. Now, from here, when we talk about testing waters, means the way do you stand. And from here, my topic emerges, look beyond. If I would not have looked beyond where I am today, I would have not reached my testing waters. So when we talk about look beyond, it is something which is out of the box, is something which gives you an experience of thinking vast, wild. It gives you an experience that you are not less, you are not a subordinate. You can fly, you can take a next step. When we talk about my credentials as a criminal psychologist, as an honorary special police officer, a victimologist, social activist, and a criminal lawyer, this is testing waters. I tested me. In this society where the women are being asked to be there in the home, I tested my water. I asked myself, this is where I belong? No. I have to look beyond. When we see laws of India, we are trying to figure it out. Are they deterrent in nature? What is it that shapes the criminal mind? Can we reform criminals? Can a new India emerge? Can we talk about victimology, which is victim assistance, which is about victim rights? If we would not have tested our watchers, our areas, we would not have stood where we are standing today. There are problems. There are times when we let loose ourselves, when we keep on thinking, what is it that I'm lacking? What is it that is not allowing me to move further? What the zeal? Where is the zeal? Where I've lost? So when we were talking about criminology, we were talking about crime, when we talk about psychology, I wanted to understand what is human behavior. And when I started understanding human behavior, I wanted to understand what drives this human behavior into criminology, into this criminal activity. So what intimidates them? Why and what gives them this shape of crime, of a criminal mind, which led me to understand the society, which led me to understand my family, which led me to understand where is it that we lack behind, why and how we are not able to reform the criminals, why our laws are not deterrent. That is when I started getting the answers on understanding and reading more, and trying to find what is it that is outside the box. Because the more you understand yourself outside, you become global, you expand. And that brought us to my credentials of understanding each and every subject, one after the other, leading to a, being a pioneer in India, to move ahead, to challenge myself, to bring this all together in a kitty, so that we're able to understand not only a psychology, we're able to understand criminology. We're able to understand what led to the victims who are just a, they are just a victim. They, they don't have a right. They don't have a law. They just belong where they belong. There is no counseling. There is no rehabilitation. There is nothing which allows them to move further in life. What we can do? How can I look beyond the law? How I can look beyond what has been there in front of you and look into the hidden aspects? 
that is when the victimology was being brought up, which is a new concept in India. Because we look beyond the offender rights, we started looking into the victim rights. We started looking into how we can rehabilitate the victims in our society, give them a compensation, talk about them, and stop this vicious circle of victimology turning into criminology and then secondary victimization. If we would not have looked beyond where we are looking into the fact, this whole aspect would have been left behind. So I would like to understand through you how many of us we don't want to see the other aspect because that's a comfort zone. We don't want to have a growth. We don't want to move beyond us. And that is where we leave where we belong. We don't fly. We stay there. If this would have been here, whatever India has been doing right now would not have been possible. When I talk about understanding crime, when we talk about the behavior of a criminal mind, I go to them. I talk to them. I look beyond them as a criminal. I look them as a human being. Because every criminal is a human being first. What made him do what he is doing today? When there is a crime, you just look into the crime scene. That's it. But when we look beyond the crime scene, we see all of us at flaws. We see our government, we see me, we see society, we see people around, those who have helped the criminal behavior to expand, to allow it to flourish on Indian grounds. Who are all to blame? The blaming partners, the stakeholders, who all? Who all we can talk about? But the thing comes up, if we would not look us outside the box, we will never ask these questions. So when I ask you, go back, look beyond yourself, think what you did today, was it good enough? If I would not have done this, married for 22 years, I would never have completed what I have done today. It was a very difficult job, a very difficult history for me to run throughout my life of 44 years. It would have been a very difficult period. Managing kids, managing home, managing what I do. If I would not have challenged myself, I would not have started a new league where we not only really talk about women, we talk about the aspect a woman takes care in a man's world. So I look beyond, I tested my waters, and now bring up a lot of theories. As a criminal profilist, I help and with, with the police officers, like have you seen with FBI's, give up my theories on various cases, like Arushi case, like Sunanda Pushkar case, and morely on recently Shri Devi case. So there are theories which have been talked about. I look beyond. I don't see what you just asked me to see. I see when I want to see through you, through that human being, through that process, through that outbox. All the best. This is where I stand. This is where I look up and I want to deliver that make yourself Look beyond, test your waters. Nothing is impossible. We all can do what we want to do. Thank you.